and dry coughs. The number one brand doctors trust. I am Trevor. Killer performances, the hottest shows, and blinding star power. Find Start TV on broadcast channel 2.2 and on these providers. The new stars of And Just Like That, next through. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News This Morning at 5. Good morning. Today is Monday, January 24th. Welcome to CBS 2 News This Morning at 5 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Suzanne Marquez. Good morning, Suzanne. I'm Hi, Rachel, Rachel Kim. And for DeMarco Morgan this morning, there's a lot going on in your world today. Here's your SoCal Eye Opener. Parents of murdered children, we won't tolerate this. We want justice for these kids. An Inglewood birthday party ends in tragedy. Four people are dead in an ambush-style shooting. We have the latest on the search for the gunman this morning. New mask rules for LAUSD. The changes families should know starting today. What the district is saying about student safety in the pandemic. And reducing stress for kids. How the Anaheim Elementary School District is making learning easier for children right now. Oh yeah, the Rams send Tom Brady and the Buccaneers packing. An exciting win for fans. What's next in their Super Bowl journey? Oh, those last few minutes. I mean, the way the Buccaneers came back. I know. One of my friends tweeted, uh, now, the reason Tom Brady reacts in the fourth quarter is the reason they have trust issues. I mean, they were losing the entire game. Tom yes. Brady always pulls oh, it out, but yes. we barely won. Darn. So he's I'm clutch. He's, know, he's clutch. He's absolutely. Wow. But I'm ready to take on the 49ers. Ooh. NorCal versus SoCal, well, baby. That's right. Go Rams. I was going to say, I'm in a house divided. My boyfriend's Ooh. from the Bay Area. Oh, oh the no. The 49ers fan who's looking up tickets last night. By the way, they are going for thousands of dollars. I think the nosebleeds is like 700. <laughs> so we're not going. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, here is a live look over uh, Long Beach. You know, we're starting off the day under a mostly clear sky. It's a cool start to our Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Temperatures in the lower 50s as we head downtown. Wind was really the big story across Southern California this weekend. Very strong Santa Ana winds, especially in areas that don't normally feel uh, these strong winds. The good news is winds have calmed significantly. I am tracking another Santa Ana wind event. We'll get to those details. We'll talk temperatures. We're really warming up this week. Uh, that's coming up ahead in your extended forecast. For now, back to you. Alex, thank you. We begin with breaking news this morning. One person has been struck and killed by a train in Pomona. The accident happened on 1st and Huntington Streets around 1 a.m. At this point, it's not clear what the person was doing near the train tracks. Investigators are trying to figure out exactly what happened. So far, the victim's identity identity has not been released. The search continues this morning for four gunmen who shot and killed four people in an ambush style shooting during a house party in Inglewood. It happened at a short term rental home on Park Avenue near Hargrave Street around 1:30 a.m. Sunday. Police think more than one person showed up at the party and fired more than 40 rounds into the crowd. Friends were celebrating Brehana Stein's 20th birthday. But she was tragically killed along with her 25 year old sister and two of their male friends. Inglewood's mayor called this an ambush and said multiple weapons were used, including a handgun and an assault rifle. Investigators told him the victims were likely targeted. This is the largest number of shooting victims that have uh, been injured in this city since the 1990s. This is a, a tragic loss for the families, and that's what we're focused on. A fifth person was rushed to the hospital in critical condition, but is expected to recover. That person allegedly admitted to being connected to a gang in another city. Students in Culver City Unified will return to class after a week off due to a surge of COVID cases. And L.A. students will need new masks starting today. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live in Arlita with a look at the changes. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. Leave those cloth masks at home. Starting today, LAUSD students and staff will either need a surgical mask or something high quality like an N95. Take a look. The district says they are now requiring well fitted non cloth masks with a nose wire at all times, including outdoors. They will have to be worn there as well. Schools will give proper masks to students who don't have one of their own. 
Officials say they are following.